Hi, my name is Konstin and in the next few minutes I will show you the first steps of a new Pixie user. I'll cover registration, uploading of the first batch of images, the organization into collections and editing of a photo. This is the main page of the service and entry point for every new user. The registration is pretty quick. I need to enter my name, email, double checking password so everything runs smoothly, then just click create account and uh, boom, we're inside the application. Here we see a number of sample images. We've added those to let people play with the app before connecting their Google Drive account and diving deep into the cloud workflow. Let's connect Google Drive and Pixio. Click Accept. Note, we would only work with the folder Pixio inside your Google Drive. Everything else is untouchable. Now that we've connected 15GB drive storage, it's time to upload some photos. I will use the ones I took last year during my trip to Kyiv. I've already made a quick review of those shots using Irfan Viewer, so that would be mostly my keepers. Pixio supports RAW, JPEG and DNG. For this demo I will upload my Canon CR2 files. Pixio generates previews and we can start uploading by clicking Upload button. The speed of uploading will depend on the internet bandwidth, so we'll just skip this part to make demo shorter. Pixio catalog shows our entire image library. As you can see, the interface is pretty minimalistic and produces little to no distraction. Here you see the photos I've uploaded. They are shot at the different time, in different places, therefore require some organization to be put on. But first, I want to show you where the original files are located. Let's switch to Google Drive for a moment. See Pixio folder, and here see all 63 photos in RAW format I've just uploaded. For now, photos are in the root all photos collection. But that's not what I want actually. As many other amateurs, I like to organize my images by dates and captions. So I create a year, month and the collection for this particular event. It was on 21st of September. Let's call it Kiev Trip. It is empty for now. Next, I need to select photos and assign them to this collection. I will use Shift button for the quick selection. Here they are. As you see, images have been also added to the collections of high level. This feature after magically creates my monthly and yearly collections. I shoot a few photos of my friends and I know they would like to see them very soon. So I'll create collections with photos of each of my friends to share them easily later on. I create friends collection of the first level, collection with photos of my friend Misha, and another one for Stas. Let's select photos with Misha first. Here, here, this has both Misha and Stas to the selection. And we had a few at the bottom. Okay, I guess we're done. Let's drag them to the appropriate collection. I'll do the same for Stas. Let's fast forward here. Now I have two collections, each holding photos with my friend. And since I created those collections under the general friends collection, I can easily see only photos where all of my friends appear. You see how flexible this collection system is? I like it very much. I also like to organize my images by photography genre. Cityscape is one of my favorite. I'll create a collection for that. Done. The best part of using cloud storage is an extreme availability. I can access my image library on any device including my smartphone. I'll give a quick sneak peek into the mobile interface of Pixio. We would see the same images and with the same organization. If we have added star rating on a computer, we would have it on a phone and vice versa. Let's find some interesting photo and turn it into a masterpiece. 
Oh yes, this long exposure shot. Image is downloaded, decoded if it's a row and uh, and in two seconds we'll be able to start editing. The performance is really well, we can zoom in and out, pan image, see it in a greater details. I guess it's too dark. Let's fix it. I will use gradient tool because it creates nice fall off and works very good with photographs. Oh, that's exactly what I want. Confirm. Now, I think we'll add a bit of contrast. I prefer curve still for that. Mm, let's move it there. We create a point and move cursor below. This makes dark areas of an image darker. Okay. Mm, I don't quite like the composition of the shot. Yeah, I'll crop it. Let's move upper handle and uh, also bring left handle closer to the image center. Oh, right there. Confirm. Perfect. Now I'm happy. Let's save the result in JPEG. I will name this photo by the city name. We can also resize an image but I'll leave this setting as is. OK. And the image is saved to a computer. I'll close the Chrome download panel and let's return to the catalog. This is it. That's how the basic workflow of Pixio looks and works. Thanks for watching.